standard 5 chapter 1 our earth and our solar system stars the heavenly bodies that twinkle are called stars stars have their own light the sun is a star planets the heavenly bodies that do not twinkle are called planets planets do not have their own light they get light from the stars the solar system the sun and the planets their satellites dwarf planets and asteroids that revolve around the sun are together called the solar system planets mercury venus earth mars jupiter saturn uranus and neptune are the planet revolving around the sun satellites some heavenly bodies revolve around planets these are called satellites we all know moon is the satellite of the earth dwarf planets there are some smaller heavenly bodies that revolve around the sun they are called dwarf planets of these the most well known is pluto asteroids between the planets mars and jupiter there is a band of numerous small heavenly bodies they are called asteroids asteroids also revolve around the sun do you know why the things on the earth remain on it all heavenly bodies exert a force of attraction or a pull on one another this force is called the force of gravity yes due to gravity the things on earth remain on it to travel in space the earth's gravitational force has to be overcome rocket technology or space launch technology is used for that purpose very powerful rockets are used to send a spacecraft into space a tremendous quantity of fuel is burnt in rockets so that spacecraft weighing thousands of tons can be launched into space do you know who was the first indian astronaut rakesh sharma became the first indian astronaut to go into space in 1984 man made satellites provide useful information for agriculture environment weather forecasting making maps and searching for water and mineral wealth on the earth they are also used for telecommunication